Hello again, so this is the part 2 of our discussion on the organic compounds. On this video lesson in part 2, our main objective is to explain how the structure of carbon atom affects the type of bonds it forms. So since we will talk about the hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons is one of the structure of the carbon atom in the organic compounds. So paano ba nakaka-apekto ang carbon atoms sa mga iba't ibang type of bonds na nabubuo nito. That would be our goal for this video lesson. Continuation about the functional groups in the organic compounds. On this video, we will focus on the hydrocarbons. We say that hydrocarbons contains only of hydrogen and carbon. And this hydrocarbons has six main groups. Let us first focus on the alkanes. Alkanes is a group of hydrocarbon that contains only single bonding, while alkenes is a type of hydrocarbons that contains the double bonding, and alkynes is another type of hydrocarbon that contains the triple bonding. According to the characteristic of carbon, carbon can have the bonding of single, double, and Triple. At ito na nga yung itinutukoy natin kanina na single, double, and triple which are the alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. They are just all the same. Nagkaiba-iba lang sila is the type of bonding of single, double, and triple. Let's see how it works. Okay, so let us start with the structure of the carbon. Sabi natin, in the characteristic of carbon, carbon has 4 valence electron and 4 electrons to share. So, let's do the Lewis dot structure of carbon with the symbol C, 4 valence electron on its 4 sides. So, this is the Lewis dot structure of the carbon. On this 4 valence electron, dito tayo magkakaroon ng bonding from carbon and Hydrogen. So, yung carbon natin ay napapalibutan ng hydrogen. Kaya siya tinawag na hydrocarbons. So, sa lahat ng valence electron ay merong nakakonect ng hydrogen. So, dun sa apat na valence electron ng ating carbon, ang nakakonect is the hydrogen. So, this is one carbon chain. Carbon chain containing only one carbon. And this is an example of a basic hydrocarbon. Hydrogen, apat, and one carbon. Now, what if magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang carbon? So, tatanggalin natin yung isa natin ditong H at papalitan natin ng carbon. So, this is now a carbon-to-carbon -carbon bonding. Ibig sabihin, carbon ay nakabond sa another carbon. And since nakakonekta siya sa isa pang carbon, kailangan yung carbon na nakakonekta sa kanya ay mayroon ding nakakonekta na hydrogen. Bottom. So, ang tatandaan mo lang in the hydrocarbons, lahat ng side ng carbon ay kailangan merong nakakonekta na Hydrogen, And this is now the hydrocarbons. Now, as you can see, there are two carbons present in the carbon chain. The question is, paano natin papangalanan ang carbon-to-carbon -carbon bonding in the hydrocarbons? So, in naming hydrocarbons, we will use naming prefixes. So, these are the different prefixes that we will use for every number of carbon atoms. For every one carbon present, we will have the prefix met, two carbons will have et, three carbons will be prop, four will be but, five is pent, six is hex, seven will be hep, eight is oc, nine non, and ten. Deck. So, that will be the prefix that we will use for every number of the carbon atoms present in the carbon-to-carbon -carbon chain. Ano yung ilalagay natin sa suffix? Since we have the alkanes, 
and alkynes. So this will serve as the suffix of our name. If we're talking about the alkanes of single bond, so ang magiging pangalan natin is the prefix plus the suffix a n e a n e so kung isang carbon we will have methane with the with the suffix of a n e so kapag naman alkene which is double bonding we will have the suffix of e n e so kung dalawa ang present nating carbon so we'll have et plus kung double bonding the name will be ethene kung may presence ng double bond pero kung wala namang presence ng double bond at single bond lamang ang ating carbon to carbon chain then we will name it as et Thane. Ito ang dulo. And of course, for the alkyne, which is the presence of triple bonding, so this is for the triple, this would be the prefix, and then the suffix will become Y and E. So kung halimbawa meron tayong tatlong carbon chain in our uh, tatlong carbon in the carbon chain at may presence ng triple bonding so the name will become propine. Ito yung magiging suffix. So let us have an example para mas maintindihan natin in naming hydrocarbons. So for example, I have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So for example, I have 5 carbon in the carbon chain carbon to carbon bonding, sa bawat paligid ng carbon ay kailangan lalagyan natin ng hydrogen. So, you will have hydrogen at the top, hydrogen on the side, and hydrogen at the bottom. You always take note na ang starting carbon at ending carbon ay laging mayroong tatlong hydrogen. Kasi meron tayong tatlong pwedeng mag-connect na bonding na sa taas, sa side, at sa ba. Yun ay pag nasa first at nasa last. So, ibig sabihin, itong last ay mayroon din tatlong hydrogen. Yung mga nasa gitna nating carbon, ang pwede na lang mag-connect na hydrogen ay yung nasa taas. Baba. So, this is the structural formula of the carbon chain. Kaya siya naging structural formula kasi nakikita mo yung structure o struktura ng carbon chain. So, if we count the carbons, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, meron tayong limang carbon sa carbon chain. Ang lima ay ginagamitan ng prefix na pen. So, sulit mo yung pen. And then, on the carbon chain, Puro single bonding lang yung nakikita mo. So, dahil puro single bonding ang present sa carbon chain, ang gagamitin mo ngayon is alkane because of the single bond. At lalagyan mo ngayon ng suffix na A, N, E. So, ang pangalan ngayon ng ating carbon chain ay pentane. Pentane because it has 5 carbon chains and single bonding. And single bonding belongs to the alkane, kaya ang dulo niya ay A N E. So, we name it as pentane. How about if there will be a presence of double bonding? So, for example, nagkaroon tayo dito ng double bonding on the first carbon in the carbon chain. Dahil double bonding, mababawasan ngayon ng ating number of Hydrogen. Tinanggalan ko ng isa. Why? Because carbon can only have four number of bondings. This would be one, this is two, this is three, and this is the fourth. 
So, kung may nakakonekta ka pa dito ang H, sobra na tayo sa number of bondings na kayang gawin ng carbon. That's why, you always take note that carbon can only have four bondings. Kaya, babawasan mo ng isang hydrogen kapag may presence of double bonding. And dahil double bonding ang ating uh, hydrocarbons, from pentane, magiging siyang pentin. So, napalitan yung suffix ng E and E. Because of the presence of the double bond, kapalitan mo yung suffix ng E and E para siya yung masabing double bonding. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, lima pa din ang carbon, kaya pent pa din ang prefix natin. Ang napalitan lang is the suffix of E and E. Now, if there is presence of single or triple bonding, indicate the number of carbon where the bonding of double and triple is found. Dahil makikita mo ang bonding sa unang carbon, then you will add one hyphen pentin. 1 pentin. Para saan yung number na 1? 1 is indicating where the double bonding is found. Kung saan sa carbon chain matatagpuan ang double bonding. At dahil ang double bonding ay nasa unang carbon, then we name it as 1 pentin. Next, how about if there would be a presence now of the three-pole bonding. So, halimbawa, nagkaroon tayo dito ng three-pole bonding. So, kung nagkaroon tayo dito ng three-pole bonding, babawasan mo ulit ngayon ng isa pang nakakonect na hydrogen. Why? Again, because carbon can only have four bonding, four number of bondings. This is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Pag may nakakonek ka pa ang isang hydrogen, so sobra ka na sa number of bonding ni carbon. Kaya kapag triple bonding, wala ka na makikita ang hydrogen na nakakonek sa carbon. Because na-occupy na nung triple bonding ng carbon to carbon chain. Now, if there would be the presence of the triple bonding, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, Lima pa din ang ating carbon, so pent pa din ang gagamitin, but change the suffix into Y and E. So, mapapatan ngayon ito ng pentine. So, we name it now as 1 pentine. Papatan ko ba yung 1 na number? Hindi, kasi dito ko rin naman nilagay ang ating triple Bonding. Nasa number 1 carbon pa din, kaya ang pangalan pa rin niya is 1 pentine. So that is how we name a hydrocarbon according to number of carbon and the suffix of either single, double, or triple bonding. Oh, and dali lang ng hydrocarbons, di ba, with the organic compounds. You just always take note of the prefixes that we will use for every number of carbon. Ang titignan mo lang ay ilan bang carbon ang present natin sa carbon chain at kung may presence ba ng single, double, or triple bonding. And that's it. You may now name your organic compound. Well, aside from naming the organic compound, you always you should also know the molecular formula. In the molecular formula, ito yung pinaikling structural formula. In the molecular formula, ipapakita o ibibigay mo doon kung ilan ang number ng carbon at ilan ang number ng hydrogen in the carbon chain. So for the molecular formula of the alkane, the formula will be Cn H2 times N plus 2. What does the N stands for? So the N stands for the number of the carbon present in the chain. 
So, kung ilan yung carbon, yun ang ilalagay natin na number sa N. Take note of that. N is the number of the carbon. And the formula for the alkane of single bonding will be CNH2 times N plus 2. Pagdating naman sa alkene, the molecular formula will become CN H2 times N. So, nawala yung plus 2. Natapos na siya sa 2 times N. Bakit nawala yung plus 2? Kasi, di ba nga, kapag may presence ng double bonding, nagbabawas tayo ng number of hydrogen because of the number of the bonding of carbon. Kaya, nawalan ngayon ng plus 2. So, magiging 2 times N na lang sa hydrogen. And for the alkyne, which is the presence of triple bonding, the formula will become Cn H 2 times N minus 2. So it will become 2 times N, then minus 2. And these are the different molecular formulas for the hydrocarbons of alkene, alkene, and alkyne. Okay, so let us have an example for the molecular formula. What if you are given number 6? So you are to give the molecular formula of a carbon chain containing six carbons for alkene, alkene, and alkyne. So let us do the molecular formula for alkene. So you have the formula C N two. So the molecular formula for the alkene of Six carbon will be C six H two times six is twelve plus two is fourteen. So your answer will be C six H fourteen. For the double bonding of alkene, you have Six. So the answer for the molecular formula will be C6H2 times 6 is 12. So the answer for the molecular formula of the double bonding is C6H12. Nabawasan ang number of hydrogen. Kasi nga, kapag may presence ng double bonding, nagbabawas tayo ng nakakonect na hydrogen sa carbon because of the capability of the carbon to only have four number of bondings. Then, for the alkyne, which is triple bonding, the formula will be H2 times 6 is 12 minus 2 is 10. So, the answer is C6H10. So, as you can see, pabawas ang pabawas ang number ng hydrogen sa padami ng padami ng bonding. Sa triple bonding, nabawasan ng dalawa ulit from the double bonding. So, that is the molecular formula for every carbon chain. Ang dapat mo lang malaman ay ilang carbon ba ang ginagawa ko. At syempre, you know what would be the formula to use to find the molecular formula and that it as easy as that. Okay, so next thing that you should know in the hydrocarbon is the structural formula. And the structural formula, it is pertaining to the structure of the carbon chain. Yung kanina na ginawa natin from our example of naming the hydrocarbons, Yung madaming carbon na nakakonekta sa kapwa carbon at may hydrogen sa paligid. So, that is what we call as the structural formula. Now, in the structural formula, meron tayong longer way and 
condense. Yung longer yun yung mas mahaba and then condense of course ay yung mas pinaikling structural formula. Now, for example, we have two carbon chains para maikli. So, for example, we have two carbons and you have to show me the structural formula of a two-carbon chain. For the single bonding of alkane, drawing ka ngayon ng dalawang carbon and then to show the bonding, you put a line kasi that's, it. that's how we show the sharing of electrons in the covalent bonding and this is a covalent bonding. So, lagyan mo ngayon ng hyphen o ng line. And then, for every carbon, lagyan natin siya ng hydrogen. Dahil pareha silang nasa tigkabilang side, walang nasa gitna, pareha silang meron tigtatlong hydrogen. So, ito yung structural formula natin na mahabang way. Longer way to write the structural formula. Paano yung condensed? When we say condensed, ito yung pinaikling structural formula. In the condensed structural formula, you just write CH, carbon and hydrogen, ito yun. This is the first CH, and then write the subscript 3. San galing yung subscript na 3? Yung subscript na 3, I indicate, nag-i-indicate ng number of hydrogen na present sa unang carbon. So, this is the first carbon and the hydrogen is 3. Tatlo yung nakakonect sa kanya. So, we have CH3. Then, hyphen, ito yun. And then, another carbon for the second carbon on this side. Si carbon ay may nakakonect din isa, dalawa, tatlong hydrogen. So, we have CH with a subscript also 3. Dahil tatlo rin ang nakakonek sa kanyang hydrogen. So, this would be the condensed structural formula of a two-carbon chain. Dalawang carbon, ito yun. And then, hydrogen, imbis na nakakonekta sa labas at sa mga tagiliran, iniratig natin ang hydrogen dun sa carbon, and then we put a subscript, and subscript is the indication of the number of hydrogen present in that carbon. So, that is for the alkane. Paano naman in the alkane with the presence of double bonding? So, for example, we also have two carbons, and you are asked to do the structural formula. So, kung sa mas mahabang way, writing two carbons, with double bonding, kasi siya ay alkenes, we have H and H. Dalawa lang kasi may presence of double bonding. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dalawang hydrogen lang ang present. On the other side, we will also have two hydrogens. Kasi, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. So, that is the four uh, bonding in the carbon. Kaya, dalawa lang. Dito naging tatlo kasi single bond. Pagdating sa triple bonding ay meron lang tayong dalawang hydrogen. So, in making the condensed structural formula, again, you write the first carbon. Ito yung first carbon. And then H. And then on the subscript, write the number of hydrogen present in that carbon. So, we have 1, 2. We have the subscript 2. And then, sh hyphen or line to show the bonding. Another carbon for this side. So, we have C, H, write the number of hydrogen using subscript. So, we also have CH2. So, we have CH2, CH2. And that is the condensed structural formula for a two-carbon chain having double bonding. Then, for example, on the triple bonding, halimbawa, meron naman tayong three carbons. Tatlong carbon naman. So, drawing mo muna yung mahaba. We have C, C, C. One, two, three. So, that's a three carbon chain. Lagyan natin dito ng triple bond. Triple bond on the first carbon. 
So, dahil na dito ang triple bonding sa unang carbon, isang hydrogen lang ang i-coconnect ako sa kanya. Kasi nandito na yung tatlo, ito na yung pang-apat. On the other side naman, one, two, three, and then, bonded siya dun sa kabilang carbon, kaya wala na akong ilalagay sa kanyang hydrogen kasi ito na yung apat niyang bonding. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, at wala na para sa hydrogen. And then, on the last carbon, Dahil single bond na lang siya, balik ka sa apat. So, we have one, two, three, and this is the fourth bonding for carbon. In making the condensed structural formula, gawin mo yung unang carbon. Yung unang carbon ay may ilang hydrogen, isa. So, you have there, double bond pala dito. Double bonding nga pala dito, I forgot, sorry. So, this is double bond. And then, on the first carbon, meron kang isa na hydrogen. So, you have CH. May isusulat ka pa bang subscript? Wala na kasi ito na yung nagsisilbing 1. And then, drawing mo yung triple bond. Ito yun. So, do double, uh, drawing mo yung triple bonding and then write C. Maglalagay ka ba ng H sa second Wala na, kasi wala namang nakakonect na hydrogen sa ikalawang carbon. So, just leave it C. And then, copy the bonding. Single bond ulit. And then, the third carbon, C, with H. Ilan ang H? You have 1, 2, 3. So, you have there CH3. So, the... The structural formula for a 3-carbon chain with triple bonding is CH triple bond, C, CH3. So that is how we do the structural formula or the condensed structural formula for a hydrocarbon. Ano lang bang mababago dyan? Dagdag at bawas lang ng carbon. Dagdag at bawas din ng hydrogen for single, double, or triple. It would all be the same for all number of carbons. Kahit ilang carbon pa ang present sa carbon chain, para parehas lang ang gagawin mo, magkakaiba-iba lamang ay sa ikli at haba ng isang carbon chain. This kind of carbon chain is the straight line or the short or long straight line chain. Isang straight, kasi isang straight lang yung man yun na kikita natin. So, that's one type of bonding in the hydrocarbon. And we're done with the first three types of hydrocarbons, the alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Now, let's move to another type of hydrocarbon, which is the cycloalkanes. In the cycloalkanes, kapareha siya ng alkanes. Yun nga lang nagkaroon ng salitang cyclo sa unahan. Ang ikinaiba nila ay sa structural formula na naka-longer way, yung mas mahabang way. Pero parehas din naman sa uh, condensed structural formula. But in the cycloalkanes, instead of writing it in a straight line, in the cyclo, kaya nga siya cyclo, ibig sabihin ay cycle, paikot, Walang starting, walang ending. So, ang shape niya ay geometrical shapes. It could be triangle, square, heptagon, hexagon, nonagon, or depending upon the number of the carbon present in the bonding or in the carbon chain. Example, we have three carbon chain. So, for example, meron tayong tatlong carbon. Siyempre, sa alkane, it is as simple as CH3, CH2, CH3. So, that's an alkane. Yung simpleng alkane with three carbon chain. When it comes to cycloalkane, kailangan shape natin siya in a geometrical shape. At dahil tatlong carbon chain, ang pwede natin doon gawin is triangle. We have here... CH, 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 and another CH. So, we have 1, 2, and 3. We have 3 
carbon in the carbon chain. And H, syempre, may nakakonekta pa rin sa kanyang hydrogen with two hydrogens each. Kung dito, we have CH3, CH2, CH3. In cycloalkanes, wala tayong magiging CH3. Puro CH2. Why? Because of the bonding 1, 2, 3, 4. Dahil siya ay nakapabilog, siya ay walang starting, walang ending, then wala tayong pwedeng maging terminal na may tatlong hydrogen. Laging dalawa lang because of the bonding na nating dalawa, dalawa na lang hydrogen ang pwedeng magkonekta sa kanya. So we have here the cycloalkane with three carbon chains. What if naman apat? So syempre pag apat will have one, two, three, and four. Anong shape ang nabuo natin? We have the square. We have CH2, 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 and another CH2. And that is the structural formula for a four carbon chain cycloalkane. Siyempre, pag nadagdagan yan, magkakaroon din tayo ng iba pang shape. But, the structural formula is always CH2. Another type of hydrocarbon is the aromatic hydrocarbons. In aromatic hydrocarbons, we will only have one structural formula for it. And that is the alternating single and double bonding with a fixed six carbon chain. So you always take note that aromatic hydrocarbon has a fixed number of carbon which is always six. And the formation of the carbon in aromatic hydrocarbons is alternating single, and double bonding. In the aromatic hydrocarbon, we also call it as benzene ring. Benzene ring stands for the alternating single and double bonding. How does an aromatic hydrocarbon looks like? So, we have six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Naka-cyclic din ang formation. Kaya nga siya tinawag na benzene ring. Naka-ring, nakapabilog. So, we have single. Alternating, ibig sabihin halinhi ng single, double. So, we have single. Double, single, double, single, and double. And then, paikot-ikot na lang yan. And that is how an aromatic hydrocarbon looks like. Ganyan lang, yan lang yun. In the aromatic hydrocarbon, or we, call, we also call it as benzene ring because it looks like a ring kasi siya ay cyclic. And this is an example of a structure of hydrocarbon or a, a structure of organic compound na naka-ring. Okay, so let's move to the last type of hydrocarbon which is alkyl halides. In alkyl halides, it is also called as haloalkanes or haloalkanes because of the halogens. These halogens are referring to the group 7 in the periodic table such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Yung mga nagtatapos sa INE na elements. So, those are the halogens na ipinapalit natin sa isang parte ng hydrocarbons. And this alkyl halides are somewhat the same with alkanes. Yun nga lang, may makikita kang presence of halogens. Example, we have three carbon atoms. One, two, three. So, that's CH3 CH2, CH3. So, this is the usual alkane of three carbon atoms. So, we name this as prop 
pain sa alkanes. What if isa siyang alkyl halides with the presence of Cl? And Cl stands for chlorine. So, this will become CH2 and then sa dulo ay may Cl. So, this is an example of a simple alkyl halides with presence of chlorine in the alkane. So, we will now name it as... Chloro. You will not write the whole name chlorine. Instead, the first syllable, first second syllable, palitan mo ng O. Yung, ah, uh, yung kasunod na letter. Example is chlorine, Cl will become chloro. Bromine will become bromo. Fluorine will become Fluoro, and then iodine will become iodo. So, yun yung magiging names ng mga halogens natin in the alkyl halide. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dulo na O. And an example is with 3-carbon chain. So, this will become chloro dahil 3-carbon chains. We have prop. So, we have chloro prop at dahil single bond naman lahat so that will become chloropropane and that's it for the alkyl halides kung ang ating halogens ay matatagpuan sa dulo e paano if there are instances na hindi sa dulo nakalagay ang halogens what if nakakonekta siya sa isang carbon sa gitna. What if nakabranch? So, this is what we call as branch. Nakabranch yung chlorine natin. Hindi siya kasama sa straight line, kundi nakakonekta siya sa isang carbon na nasa loob ng carbon chain. So, this is called branch chain. What if nandito ang ating chlorine? So, the name will become chloro kasi chlorine pa rin yung nakakonekta. Chloro prop chloro propane. Nabago ba yung pangalan? No. It's the same. But include saang carbon nakabranch yung Chloro. So, yung ating chlorine ay nakabranch ay sa second. So, magkakaroon siya ng 2 chloropropane. Dahil nakabranch siya sa 1, 2, sa ikalawang carbon, then indicate the number 2 plus the name chloro because of the chlorine. Prop, kasi tatlong carbon. And A and E because of all our single bond. And that's how we do an alkyl halides. Mapapatan lang yan ng either bromine, fluorine, or iodine. It would just be the same. Same naming according to the prefix, according to the suffix of single, double, or triple, and then indicate the element na napasama and the number kung saan siya nakadugto. Okay, let us have a practice test with this example. If n is equals to 8, give me the name of the carbon chain, the molecular formula, and the structural formula. Again, the n stands for the number of the carbon atoms. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong walong carbon. So, kung meron tayong walong carbon, anong pangalan natin? It will become O. Since wala namang sinabi na ito ay double or triple bonding, so let us assume that this is a single bonding. So if it is a single bonding, ang dulo natin will be A and E. So the name will become octane. Next is to give the molecular formula. Since we use a single bonding, 
the molecular formula will be C eight H ang formula natin for the single bond is C N H two times N two times eight is sixteen plus two that's eighteen. So the molecular formula for N8 is equals to C8H18. And the structural formula will be drawing ka ng isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, walong carbon because of the octane, eight number of carbons. So this is your longer way of writing the structural formula of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 hydrogen. So tama ang sagot natin in the molecular formula. And then give me the condensed structural formula. And that would be your answer for the structural formula. Para mas madali, pwede naman itong maikulay. Kung gusto mong parehas, pwede rin naman. Longer way and the condensed structural formula. So this is how we do the hydrocarbons of alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, uh, hydrocarbons na cycloalkanes, and the alkyl halides as well as the aromatic hydrocarbons. Another practice test, what if N is 6 and then give me the name, the molecular formula, and the structural formula. So you try answering this and I will give you the correct answer. And that would be all for our video lesson today about organic compounds and the discussion of hydrocarbons. Now enjoy answering your modules 4 and 5 of Science 9. I hope to see you again on my next video lesson and don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel to be updated and for more videos in science lessons. Goodbye!